Good afternoon, my friends. I apologize that you have not heard from me in a while, but I was taking the advice here of Psalm 46.10 that says, Be still and know that I am God. Something we all need to do from time to time. You know, I kind of made that verse my theme for the year. Back when, not on January 1st, I don't do the resolutions thing. I, that's, nah, I never keep those. But probably around the time the whole coronavirus started and everything was being canceled, I had a lot of things planned before my move. And it all got canceled. And so there wasn't really anything else to do. It was kind of a, a forced be still time. I wasn't thrilled. But during that time, you know, I had a lot of time there that I, I was just being still. Being still. Taking that advice, be still and know that I am God. And I really did learn some things there. First, this word we translate as be still. In the Hebrew, it's not just that that word that we, we translate as still. It's not just about being quiet to listen. It does have that connotation to it. It is, it is about being quiet and listening. But it's also about just sort of throwing off things, you know, just throwing off things that might be weighing you down or keeping you from listening or letting go. You know, things that we might hold on tightly to, letting them go so that we can be still. Be still. And, you know, as I was really indulging in that, be still and know that I am God, I learned some things from God that's a lot different than what life usually teaches us. You know, life teaches us, we learn back from the time we were really young, that we're supposed to be nice. You know, particularly as Christians, we're supposed to be nice. And often when we're being nice, we can be a little less than honest when we're nice. We can compromise ourselves when we're being nice. So instead of being nice, maybe we should just be caring. Maybe we should be caring and be honest. You know, not honest in bad ways that's going to hurt someone's feeling. But be honest and be caring rather than being nice. I learned that we should be loving ourselves because we can't really love someone else until we do love ourselves. Our love for other people comes from our love from God, the way God loves us and loving ourselves and then loving others. And there's a difference in loving ourselves and being arrogant. You know, there's a big difference there. We can love ourselves without being arrogant. We can love ourselves in a nice, quiet way without, you know, really promoting ourselves. And when we love ourselves, we take the time to really take care of ourselves. We don't, don't let others just, you know, take us for granted. We don't let others take advantage of us. And when we do that, when we take care of ourselves, that's not being selfish. You know, so often in life it teaches us that if we take time to do something for ourselves and we're not just give, give, give all the time, we are, you know, called selfish. Particularly if we've been in the habit of always doing for others and never taking care of ourselves and all of a sudden we stop we're told we're being selfish because we're doing something for ourselves. And no, that's not it at all. We're taking care of ourselves because if we haven't taken care of ourselves, we can't take care of someone else. Those are some things that I learned. But you know, I've also learned that 
being still and know that I am God and that throwing off, that letting go. There's some other things that we have to do. And being still, that's very hard, just being quiet like we know it. That's very hard to get that time for just quiet because there are some really loud voices out there telling us what we should be, what we should think, what we should, um, how we should be, what our attitude should be, what our, you know, opinion should be. And they will just come in and crowd out all quietness. And if we aren't careful, we will take on their attitudes. We will take on their opinions and not even realize it's happened. And we can make those become, you know, synonymous with Christianity in our lives. You know, we, we don't realize that we have turned those attitudes and those opinions and those behaviors into what we think is Christianity. And so sometimes we have to take that time out to just be still so God can show us what it is that we need to throw off, that we need to let go so that we can truly follow him. It's going to be more about this in some sermons coming up in October. But for right now, we're in the middle of the series of God's will. What is God's will for us? We've already covered God's will for us as individuals and when things go bad. Coming up this Sunday, we're going to talk about God's will in the midst of this pandemic. You know, it's it's a crazy time, and we're going to talk about that this Sunday. So I'll see you there, 9 a.m., parking lot of Family Life Center. Have a great weekend.